Hello everyone, this is Sasha and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic that I have seen in emails from other people who are Etsy coaches, people with Etsy memberships and stuff, and that is using a tool like ChatGPT for keyword research. All right, so there's some things that you need to know before you just blindly follow down the path that this is the Lord and Savior of our keyword research from here on out. Okay, so what you need to know, first and foremost, is that the information that the tool ChatGPT uses to teach its tool to become smart, the machine learning of this tool, the information it's using from the internet is publicly inf available information from the year 2021 and before. So it says here on their own website, some people, I guess this is a very frequently asked question. Can I trust that the AI is telling me the truth? And their answer is chat GPT is not connected to the internet. So it's not like continuously feeding in information and then giving you output. What it's doing is it's buying, infor it's, it's using information that's been packaged to feed into their tool and it's publicly available, available information through 2021. So it says it's not connected to the internet and it can occasionally produce incorrect answers. It has limited knowledge of world and events after 2021, after 2021, and may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content. And it says we'd recommend checking whether responses from the model are accurate or not. If you find an answer is incorrect, please provide that feedback by using the thumbs down button when you do your queries on ChatGPT. And then it says, how does ChatGPT work? ChatGPT is fine-tuned from GPT-3.5, a language model trained to produce text. It was optimized for di dialogue by using reinforcement learning with human feedback, a method that uses human demonstrations and preference comparisons to guide the model towards desired behavior. So with that said, it's a tool and it's learning. It's a machine that's learning, machine learning. And it can be wrong. And so you have to verify the data. So you can use a tool like ChatGPT to get you ideas for key, uh, for products to make on Etsy, like in the digital product space where I sell, or keyword ideas, but you cannot blindly follow the information. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to always know that the data is 2021 and before. So we know that. So we know that it won't necessarily be relevant to current trends. And we want to use a keyword research tool like E-Rank to make sure that we can verify that this, that the idea it's giving us is relevant. So I'll give you an example. So back in 2021, where the data is relevant, uh, people were selling digital planners like crazy on Etsy. And you didn't have to, you really didn't have to do anything like like 5 million links that they have on now and have 50 different covers and all this stuff. You could just sell a basic digital planner with some hyperlinks for like, $15. And now it's become a lot of entrance. There's a race to the bottom on pricing. So you want to make sure that you're using this tool with that in mind, that the data might not be relevant for the products that are selling. You want to verify the information. And I'll give you an example of that now. So you want to go to a tool, the OpenAI tool, ChatGPT. And then this is the interface to where you'll type in your query and you'll say, give me 10 digital planner product ideas to sell on Etsy. And you'll hit enter and it'll give you output. And so they have 10 digital planner product ideas that you consider selling on Etsy. And it says productivity planner, wedding planner, self-care journal, study planner, travel planner, fitness journal, budget tracker, meal planner, habit tracker, monthly goal tracker. So you want to know that the only ones here that you could sell as a actual digital planner. Like a lot of these are pages, like monthly goal tracker. That would be a page within an entire digital planner product. So then habit tracker too. Meal planner, that could be a digital planner, but I, I mean, I'm assuming it would just be a part of a giant digital planner product. Budget tracker, that'd be in like a financial planner, uh, business or fitness journal, that could be one. And then, so you want to take these ideas and you want to go to somewhere like, like um, 
E-Rank and do some research. So you want to, it also gives you ideas for the um, pages in it. So this is really helpful. So like for the wedding planner, a digital planner kit tailored for wedding planning. So we'd have uh, templates for guest list, vendor contacts, budget, seating arrangements, and to-do list. So those could be the pages within a digital planner. So you want to go over to E-Rank and you want to go ahead and type in digital wedding planner because that's what we're looking for is a digital planning product. So you want to look and you want to see when it sells and when it's trending. So, and then we want to go even further. So this is really good because it's telling us that people are looking for these products mainly the end of the summer, but really over the end of the year to the beginning of the year. And then they're, you know, obviously buying them more here for maybe a fall wedding at the late, the late spring, early summer, stuff like that. So then we'll click on, we see here, digital plan, uh, wedding planner. That's the long tail keyword that people are typing into a search engine. So that would be a long tail keyword we want to use in our product on Etsy to sell it. So wedding planner digital, that's one. And then digital wedding planner. And we see here that these have decent searches, but there is a lot of competition. So you want to make sure that you analyze this. So we'll go with digital wedding planner and we'll analyze that keyword to see what the top products are selling for and also um and also you know what keywords they're using the pricing what's included stuff like that so i'm going to go past all this uh analytical data down to the market research data so i take this data and i sort it by daily views high to low and i'm going to click on this product here happy living goods digital wedding planner and they're putting the year 2023 so that looks like they've sold like 320 of them because usually most sellers in the digital product space start with 999 products. They created this in March. It's been live for 131 days. So this is good. This is good data. But now we want to go actually to the product on Etsy to see what they're selling it for and stuff like that. I'll make myself smaller. Okay, so we see they're selling it for, they have it on sale for 75% off. It's a bestseller for $7. And we're like, okay, well, that means it's kind of a race to the bottom on pricing. And then it has here, it has a boho theme. They have multiple tabs, vision boards, to-do list vendors, uh, tired. It's a portrait orientation. We, they have tons of pages there. There's 43 add-as-you-go pages. So they're also including 43 additional pages that people can insert into this planner that they've made. So that's like a 43-page um, printable planner set that templates that they've created and they have calendars, they have all this stuff. So for me personally, this does sell well, but I might go for something simpler because having to create 43 templates and then having to create a digital planner with all the hyperlinks, this would take me probably 120 hours to make, which would be an entire month of time for me to make. And then I'm competing with this product for, that they're selling it for $7. They probably always have a sale on this product to sell it against all the other people because remember there are 14,000 other products on Etsy using this long tail keyword. So I might go with something different. And so that's why you want to take those ideas from chat GPT and you want to go and do and marry that data with something like E-Rank and then Etsy or Insight Factory Etsy. You want to take it all the way through so that you can make sure that you are creating a product based on what you find to be a price point you're comfortable with. Uh, the market research, is it selling now? Do I want to make it now? Because for $7, you can make a 10 page game bundle and sell that for $7. And yeah, it would be so much easier than making this product. But that's all about what you feel like making and what you're passionate about, of course. But yeah, always take that data from ChatGPT, knowing that it's old data and, and always bring it to, together with the new current data with uh, keyword research tools and with Etsy. So I hope that this has helped to open your eyes about using chat GPT for keyword research and how it's just really a jumping off point and it's not gonna be necessarily, you're just gonna straight up copy and paste the keywords from uh, chat GPT for your product ideas.